So I welcome uh, Garima Lohia. And you know it well, but I must say she's uh, IAIR2, she's BCOM, and she did uh, IPCC also, that is she enter. If I try to define myself, she's hard work, she's focus, she's dedication, and uh, she is emotional also, and uh, she is very uh, she is very open in expressing emotions, whether with teachers or parents, right? And uh, something I remember, I remember two days before the exam date, she was not well prepared in uh, paper one. So you'll tell your things yourself, right? So she will be telling about uh, what study material she studied, uh, what was her approach in commerce, right? And for 25 to 30 minutes and thereafter, she will take your uh, questions, right? Right, you can start now. So I'll just uh, go about a brief introduction. Sir has already introduced me, but uh, I did my BCom, Bachelor's in Commerce from Kirodimal College, University of Delhi. I completed it in 2020. And uh, while I was in my college, I also did CA Intermediate. But then in 2020, I had to decide whether I have to go for Articleship and CA Final or go for UPSC. So then I took my decision and decided to go for UPSC, CSC. And, uh, so initially when I started and decided to take commerce as an optional, I was very intimidated because I thought that the larger pool of candidates, is that English? Uh, yes. huh, that the larger pool of candidates who is taking commerce optional are chartered accountants. Kisi ne chartered accountant plus CS plus CFA bhi kara hua hai. So I was very scared of all of it. But trust me, if I can do this, you can do it too. Even if you are a BCom, even if you are a CA, uh, I think it's very much possible. Uh, these days, people have been discouraged from taking commerce as an optional a lot. Uh, even uh, when I was taking my attempt, I used to listen, even from the toppers itself, that commerce, the marks has been capped at 250, 250 se zada to nahi milenge. But uh, I got 275 and uh, I got a 125 in paper one and 150 in paper two. And 125 in paper one is as per my expectations, maybe five marks less. But I did not uh, do much effort in paper one and that is why the marks. Maybe if I could have worked a little harder, my score would have gone up uh, a little more over there. Okay, so the first topic that I would like to talk about is why you should be confident that you have taken commerce optional and not just we are away in, uh, in after talking to some people and why other people should also who have a commerce background go for commerce background. First of all, it saves you a lot of time. If you look at my GS marks, it's nearly 470. I could save up a lot of time preparing for GS because I had an optional that was known to me. You people have known commerce at least since 11th standard. It's been six or seven years. Trust me, if you go and do everything that is new, people will tell you ki PSIR karlo, it's very scoring. Anthropology karlo, it's very scoring. But find your comfort zone. In UPSC, everything else is already new to you. Do something in the end of the day that you know, oh, I have already practiced it in college. I know it very well. So doing a subject that you are comfortable in gives you mental satisfaction. Ki, chalo, din bhar mein kuch bhi achha nahi hua, but I did commerce, which uh, I am strong in. And I am sure people who have done their chartered accountancy and all are very strong in paper one. And you can leverage it. So uh, do not make this decision of just going here and there, taking anthropology, sociology. I'm sure they have a lot of good marks uh, coming up. And they will tell you that it overlaps with GS also. But uh, for me, I thought, why not take a subject with overlaps with GSS? Because I will have that mindset that I have prepared sociology as an optional. Now I will use the same material in GS1. I will not prepare GS1 society separately, which is not a fair deal for GS uh, papers. May I interrupt here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you see the marks of first ranker, though she got 325 marks in pole science and uh, pole science, but see her GS marks. Total marks are around 400, and she didn't get very good score in paper three, paper two rather. Otherwise, with pole science, she should have got 125, 130, 140 marks. So in paper two, around 100 marks were there, right? So I don't think that uh, she could leverage her background of pole science. And the gap in total marks is 25, uh, 2025 only, no? Yes. 
Uh, yes, sir, you I think uh, the, the rank first, she has done very well in PSIR. I'm sure her knowledge of PSIR is very strong. But probably uh, the rumors that we keep hearing that if you use your optional content in theory in your GS paper, you get marked a little lower. Maybe that happened. So I think commerce in that sense would help you because there is no overlap. Also, you can use certain theories like, let's say, interest coverage ratio, incremental cost output ratio in your GS answers. Those concepts can be used here and there. I try to use commerce in my ethics also. The paper two theories, I try to use it in my ethics also. So it's not that there is zero overlap. It only depends on how well you have studied it and how well you can utilize it in other papers. Uh, it, has a go it has got a lot of effort, but when you do it, you will see that it is worth it. So I think your decision of taking commerce as an optional given your background is justified. Uh, okay. So... Apna sources? Yes, yes, sources. You tell ah, sources. Hai. For commerce, my Paper I'll 1, paper 2 separately. Hai. I'll tell you my sources for commerce, uh, starting with paper 2. For paper 2, I took SIR's classes. So I, uh, when I was going through the classes, SIR, in the classroom, SIR gives you a lot of diagrams and examples apart from what is given in his books. <clears throat> so I used to write it in a notebook. And after the classes got over, uh, SIR always told us to make short notes. But uh, I was lazy at that point of time because my GS coaching was a uh, GS class. Uh, Preparation was also going on. So what I did, I downloaded Shubham sir's notes from, uh, he has uploaded it online. I think his notes are excellent. So I downloaded, I uh, took a printout of the notes and it's, it's also uh, from Ranker's material itself. So it will not be something new for you. I did that. If you do not uh, find that method to be suitable to you, you can make your own short notes taking inspiration from his notes. And then I uh, put on sticky notes sheets in between in that I can add my own examples, my own notes and make that my go-to source. For example, I made uh, those notes in the beginning. Uh, between prelims and mains itself, I did it last year. In the first week, I did it and I revised it at least eight to ten times such that without even seeing at the notes, I could uh, remember everything written in that book. If you do not do it, I don't think in paper two, given the paucity of time, you'll be able to reproduce an answer that gives you seven on 10. And paper two is very scoring. I don't know why people don't focus on that. For me, paper one was a weak point. Uh, I remember my brother used to keep saying, Ki ho gaya paper two. why do you keep studying paper two? Because you like it. Because paper one also carries equal amount of marks. So for people who have very strong paper one, given your background, and you think paper two is not scoring, trust me, paper two is very scoring. Just try, give it a try. And uh, paper one, uh, so definitely you people will do better than me, I am sure. Uh, so this was, uh, uh, for paper one also I use source materials. Apart from that, for audit I use the CA inter material that I had gone through. Not entirely, just the beginning two or three uh, chapters so that I have those basic words. Uh, for example, true and fair representation, reasonable assessment. These words should be there on my tongue so that when I write an audit answer, it does not look like a GS answer. It looks like a professional audit answer. For that, I went through that. For uh, uh, and then for accounts, I again went through source note. I think is uh, uh, accounting standards notes are very nice. I remember I made short notes out of that also. For paper one, I had one notebook in which 20 pages I had accounts, 20 pages I had audit taxation and similarly. For taxation, I did it very nicely. A, because I did it very nicely in my CA intermediate. I was very fond of taxation also. So, uh, but not the, I, the indirect tax GST part. I did the DT part very well. For that also, I also did the CA intermediate uh, questions, apart from SIRS uh, questions, which were given in the book. And uh, cost. So I'll tell you one big mistake. I was never fond of cost as a subject. Even in intermediate, I hardly uh, managed to pass cost. So I did not touch cost this time. I did not do it even once. I did not open SIRS books. But then two days before the exam, as SIRS said, I called him and I started to cry that Mera to kuch nahi hua. I am going to fail miserably. And then uh, SIRS told me, give us triple tick mark and double tick mark from his books I can do. So I did not have the courage because it's like 24 hours later you have your exam so I asked my best friend would you please help me so she uh, taught me three or four questions four questions uh, only theory which included ABC costing responsibility and divisional performance management and three out of four questions were there in the paper it was a lucky day for me but uh, don't uh, do a gamble that I did with my uh, preparation give focus to cost also if there is a subject that you are weak in so you can make part two, financial management and FMI your strong point. Try to attempt three questions from there. And the other part, you can uh, think of attempting one question from that. 
so you can maybe uh, practice little less in terms of cost or tax choose between them and sir will tell you better on this strategy if you can save time uh, on definitely, that definitely but uh, your words are uh, motivational inspiring no yeah so yes. i could not do cost i think i found it humongous uh, and doing all the chapters again and again because i remember in uh, ca intermediate you have all these material costing labor costing overheads and then you come to those uh, so you are in that zone of practicing but here those chapters are not there you directly go about solving uh, questions of process costing so that made it very difficult for me and i could not uh, practice it a lot also between those three months you have to you have chosen your optional so that you can focus more on your gs so my focus was focusing more on gs and less a little less on optional uh okay Means due to commerce you could save time and uh, yes. put it to yes GS, sir, i uh, could put it right. to my gs i put a lot of time in gs i think i completed my commerce in the initial 20 25 days and then only the test series um i one more mistake that you should not do which i did is not writing test series i took test series from sir and uh, i took test series while i was uh, preparing so in 2020 also and in 2022 also and i did not write one single test of paper one because i was scared of paper one so i did not write one single test and that is why on the day of the paper i was uh, in a in a panic state that how will i complete it please don't do it even if your syllabus is incomplete just write a test test yourself maybe let's say only in accountancy only in taxation but don't uh, go without writing a test in paper 2 it was my favorite subject i think i wrote 15 to 20 tests so i was very comfortable it was just like writing another test and i knew while i was writing the paper i was smiling in writing the paper because i knew i'm going to get a, a very good mark in this so over focusing on one paper and under focusing on one paper may not uh, is not really the best uh, or ideal strategy that you should follow but focus on paper one also if there is something some point that you are weak at for example i know friends and uh, people who have asked me that i am weak in taxation should i go for commerce as an optional of course yes you can you can uh, maybe give a little less focus on taxation maybe you are sacrificing on 8 to 10 marks but that is not it you have another 500 marks that you can focus on Uh, so these were my sources also for test series um, i also did vajji ram and ravi's test series for commerce why because i used the material of rankers and i was giving the test of rankers so i wanted to see ki rankers ka hi material use karke if i write some other external test series does it fetch me good marks and it did i got 180 marks in their test series in paper 2 which shows that the material that you are using you do not have to refer to any other material it's it you can trust on the material i have written other test series in the market also and uh, they give you good marks on that material itself so this is uh, these are the sources coaching i did uh, rankers paper 2 from sir and books i used his material apart from that for paper 2 uh, i also used sp robins uh, and ashwathapa for hrm i did not study a single line just to flip through the pages and whatever diagrams i could see which were attractive i used to uh, make it in my notes only and i use those diagrams very liberally you do not have to go through those books i'll try uh, maybe sir also has those books i have those books i'll click pictures i'll make a pdf and i'll upload it within 2 to 3 days so that you people can use it and you do not have to buy those books and don't go through those books it will take you a lot of time i'll add the relevant examples and tell you where to quote it uh, i hope it will work for you these were the book sources and uh, uh, coachings that i did